the human brain. To the untrained eye, it may look like nothing more than a big gross piece of chewed bubble gum. But that's incorrect. In fact, this gum is very, very smart. In fact, you might even say this gum has a mind of its own. A brain mind. What are you thinking, brain? We'll never know. Because brains don't have mouths. That's what mouths are for. Sometimes, you may find yourself in a place outside the realm of the human brain's understanding, where up is down, where mailmen chase dogs, and where pizza is pronounced pozza, or pizzo. We're about to enter that place. I'm Dick Canner, and come take a walk with me as we travel along the Brainscape. We travel to the Arctic tundra of Antarctica, where two men sit in a small base with a button. But if you think this is one of those buttons that turns on your television set, or rings a doorbell, or turns off your television set, you would be incorrect. When pressed, this button ends the world. No joke. Don't believe me? I dare you to press it. No, stop. Because if you did, it would end the world. That's how important a button it is. And in their lonely isolation, these two men are about to find themselves traveling along the Brainscape. Good. You're awake. Oh, good morning, Harvey. Clifford, I've been thinking. How long have we been down here alone, just guarding that button? Uh, a little over three years, I think. Three years, four months, two weeks, one month, and two weeks exactly. And how many days has it been since they've contacted us on that radio? None. They're only supposed to use the radio if they want us to press the button. Then why don't you think they've contacted us? Tying back to what I just said, uh, they probably don't want us to press that button. That's a theory. That's a theory. Harvey, you seem a little stressed out. Why don't you calm down? Here, have some coffee. No! I don't want coffee, not now. My mug! Just think about it. The United States created a doomsday device. A red button that can end the world. And they put us in charge of guarding it. That's right. What if another country did the same thing? What, like if Honduras built a doomsday device? Honduras wouldn't do that. They're a very amiable people. Honduras, no. But there are other countries that could. Russia. China. The Soviets. Russia. Spain. If possible. You said Russia twice. Now imagine if one of those countries made a doomsday device, just like ours. And they put two guys in charge of it, just like us. Except for they already radioed their guy and told him to press the button. We never know! You're getting excited again. Here, write a journal entry. Don't you see? My journal! What I'm trying to tell you, Clifford, is this. I believe that without our knowledge, Life on this planet has come to an end. My husband's a busy man. After all, he is a doctor or a lawyer. But in the mornings, I make sure he's not too busy for a healthy breakfast. Bean Flakes, it's the cereal with the most beans. It's chock full of proteins, fibers, and other scientific ingredients. But we girls wouldn't know much about that. In bean comparisons, bean flakes were shown to have at least twice as many beans as the leading competitor. Twice as many! That's math. But we girls wouldn't know much about that. Also, with their robust and beany flavor, bean flakes taste great. But we girls wouldn't know much about that. Bean flakes. 
It's full of beans. Doesn't your husband deserve a bowl of bean flakes? Bean flakes. Buy them at your neighborhood grocery store. I did. That's why I have them here. Clifford, I've been thinking about the end of the world again. Darn it, Harvey, are you on that again? Would you knock off with those crazy thoughts and let me enjoy my bean flakes? But aren't you curious? Here we are, thinking that we're a small part of the world, when we are the world. Civilization has come to a halt. Every living man, woman, and child is dead, and we don't even know about it. Heck, maybe that isn't such a bad thing. I mean, what is the world to a man but just his surroundings? After all, if we can't feel or hear or see anybody, maybe they already don't exist. Harvey, that's stupid. I think you're a stupid man, Harvey. Am I? Yes. Am I? A very stupid man. Am I? Am I? I didn't even say anything that time. Am you? No, that's just bad grammar. There is no grammar! There isn't anything anymore! We've been sitting here waiting for the end of the world and it already happened! And we missed it! There is no world! There is no bean flakes! My flakes! There is no pencils! My pencil! There is no pillow! Now that's enough! You have thrown enough things on the ground! What do I have to do? How about I press that button? Then you'll see. Then you'll see it doesn't matter! I can't let you press that button. Now I don't want to shoot you, Harvey, but I will. Just let me press the button. You're the last man on Earth. The last... I'm sorry, Harvey. Hello? Hello? I know I'm not supposed to use this, but I just shot my partner. And I was just wondering if anybody's out there. Hello? Hello? He was right. I don't want to be the last person on Earth. something on here? I mean, good if not, because this radio is only for We Want the World to End, which we definitely don't because everyone's alive and things are really good here. Uh, just say, just say nothing if everything's okay. Just, just don't make any sound if everything's all good. Okay, cool. Everything must be okay. Ooh, that's rough. The guy went out to get a hamburger. Just missed him. It seems that to Clifford and Harvey, that hamburger meant the whole world. It's a strange confluence of coincidence when one man's fast food is another man's really important fast food. Also, this button was pretty weird. But weird is the soup of the day, every day, when you walk on the Brainscape.